and quickly find the rationalizable strategies within this game. In the game, uh, player one can choose strategy W, X, Y, or Z, and player two can choose A, B, C, or D. Rationalizable means that it's like possible and it'll be in play. So basically we're just looking for what are the dominated strategies, meaning they, they won't be chosen or knock those out and those are those are not in play in, the, in this game. So if player two does A, what's best for player one? To get uh, one, three, six, or four? Well, it's best to get six, we're gonna circle that. Now if player two does B, we're looking for the best payout for player one. We're going to circle this. Player two, uh, if they choose six or C rather, um, player one should choose uh, W and get six. And then player two does D. What's best for player one? And that would be to choose X. So for player one, uh, no strategy is dominated. So everything is going to be uh, in play for or rationalizable for player one. Player two, I'll choose a different color here. Um, we're going to go through that. If player one does W, we're now looking at the second number in each of these and six is the biggest. Okay, so that would be uh, strategy D. Uh, when player one does X, what's best for player two? And that would be to get that four. Uh, player one does Y, what's best for player two? That would be to get that six. Uh, and then finally, if player one does Z, what's best for player two? And that would be to go uh, B and get uh, three. This right here, this is the Nash equilibrium. This is the, the outcome that neither party is gonna change from. You can say it that way, or it's just the most likely outcome in this game when they're picking simultaneously. Notice that uh, player two did not choose uh, A. So A is not rationalizable uh, in this game. Uh, but they did, oh, and I noticed that I made a mistake because right here, it's good that I did that. Right here, this, is, this eight is greater than that six. So uh, D is also uh, dominated. So the way you would write this, you would write uh, W, X, Y, and Z, and then times B and C. Those are the possible strategies in this game.